very depressing. Uh, very depressing. So, you know, you can make a comedy about it and get it all out. Are you too? Yeah. Uh, was it exactly? The, can you make fun of the effects of aging in, in real life? Yeah, you can make fun of it. I mean, sometimes you have, yeah, you can. Um, it's, it's kind of a, it's a given. There's nothing you can do about it, so you might as well make fun of it. I, I'm not thinking of anything specific, but yeah, sure. And, uh, I think it's interesting when people, when you walk down the street and you see younger people, and they're all around you and they ignore you, they kind of see the peripheral vision sees that you're older and not their generation or maybe two generations or two and a half generations older than they are. So they're not even interested unless if they see me or they recognize either, they're not, they're curious, you know, of yeah. course. But otherwise the peripheral of what the gray hair and all that, they, they just, uh, that's interesting. You kind of, so that you become part of another another class of person, if you will. And it's an Second class. Second class. <laughs> you guys, the best thing ever happened to me. Tonight, we're gonna party like it's 1959. Bring out the bottles! No, I don't see any advantages. Uh, I, I don't like, I don't see any, I guess the only advantage I see is you're more comfortable with yourself. You don't have to prove anything. Um, you accept, you accept who you are, uh, I think more. We were talking, both of us have younger children. It's right. nice to be able to have the time, you know, to spend to spend with them. It's easy to give. It's not an effort to want to, you know, to, to, to give to kids and, and other things. Um, and, you know, we're, we're gonna see, even as we're all around 70, uh, I think we're gonna see the next 10 years, lifespans longer and longer, so, um, who knows, you know, and we were talking early too now and with, with digital, I mean digital, hey, you know, we can, uh, you know, he'll look like Raging Bull and, you know, we'll go back uh, all the way. You know, you look at people that you know, were younger than they're my age now and they're such senior, so respectful, yet inside you still feel like the child, the child within you. I, I, don't, I don't think there's a lot inside that changes, but by all outside exterior, <laughs> changes a lot. I, I think one thing, and you've, you've heard it a lot, uh, you hear it from people that get to be our age, or even, or even younger or older, is that it went by so fast. And I and you don't know that. You know, you hear it when you're young, I say, yeah, yeah, well, that's, you know, yeah, right. So, but when you get there and you look back, it's true. It's just true. The kids grew up so fast. Where'd the years go? Now they're in college. All those things, it's just, that's true. Which, I mean, uh, I mean that, that expression, youth is wasted on the young, is, uh, is, is very true. I mean, what is my dream? My dream is to be a young man with the knowledge that I have now. Yes. <laughs> you know, this, this would make me very happy, but uh, uh, I'm gonna have to either find a movie to do that or, or read a book. Do you feel like you take things less seriously now, the older you get than like earlier in your careers? Some things yes, and others are always the same, but yeah. Yes, no, I take things much less seriously. Yeah. I mean, serious is when they tell you you got cancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cancer is serious. You yeah. know, then the, the rest of it is not. Yeah. And that obviously changes you a lot when things like that Yeah, happen. but I mean, you hear that, then so anything else they tell you, you know, it's, uh, it's not too serious. I'm, I'm much more conscious of time. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I know what what year this is, and um, I can adequ adequately count how many years I think I have of of, of good health. So I, I think there's some a little more responsibility. Um, I, I I'm watching the clock a bit. I do watch the clock. Yeah, I mean, I think I I don't like to waste time doing things. If I have a, you know, if I'm in a location somewhere, I like to. If I have a day off, I try and see. I never know if I'll be back there again, especially as you get older. And if you see, um, I like to take advantage of things. Of, I like to travel and stuff and do things and share with my family and my children and, uh, and let them see things that I have an, the advantage of going to. And, um, and uh, if they're, you know, so I, I, I say if it's, the time is now, not next year, it's now. My idea of love has changed because when I was 25, I was probably leading. <laughs> Leading with uh, down here, you know. <laughs> now, my love is much more in my head, you know. 
Yeah, it's. A, I mean, it's also when you settle down, if you will, it's a it's a whole other dynamic with a family and so on. It's a whole, it's a it's a balance of all the things with the children and all the the whole everything that you that you've set up and have. And as the years go by, it becomes more and more the, the main uh, thing, event, if you will, and and um, that's just. And it's for a good, in a good way. It's all good. And you can't take love for granted. No. You got to protect it. You got to nurture it. You know, take care of it. And uh, rather, when you're younger, you kind of just, just take it for granted. Uh, I mean, if you have the only thing I would say is if you get married, it's it's easier probably not to have children uh, if you're going to split up. Just it makes life simpler later on in life. It's not the end of the world. It's okay if it, yeah. you do, but you know. I think you should wait. I think you should wait. I think everybody has their own careers, their own ambitions. I think you should work on your own career. You should try to get some financial security and independence. Women now, it's very comfortable to have babies into the mid thirties, their late thirties. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fathers. Uh, you can be a father in your fifties. Uh, I'm not saying it for everybody, but I think people have to get their own life secure before they take on the responsibility of a partner and children. <laughs> I guess there are some women like older men, but it's a smaller group. My father, in one of his last books, he ended his, books, his book by saying he was walking in New York and this beautiful girl came running up to him, came running up to him and he had a smile on his face and says, you're Michael Douglas's father. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I didn't remember that. you remember know, that's sort of how I'm feeling now. <laughs> well it seems like actors never wants to retire I feel all the people I've spoken to like have said that retirement feel like you dying or whatever do you feel that way too are you ever planning to retire well, what are you gonna do I mean what's with acting I don't know what I, I know over the years I've seen an actor so that said they're gonna retire then I don't know what their reasons are. I'm sure they're they're um, they're valid, uh, whatever you know. But I I don't understand it otherwise. But those who have done that had a reason, a real reason in their lives. But, um, I mean, I retiring gives the impression that you're so relieved that your job is over. Yeah. Whereas we did, we love our we love our jobs. We, we it's so much fun, make believe go different places, people are happy to see you, get into good restaurants, you know. <laughs> I mean, if I'm with he him, owns some of them. With him, <laughs> <laughs> so you get a table at his yeah, restaurant yeah, really yeah. easily. Wow, yeah. I'm lucky. So, um, I mean, both of you had such long, amazing careers. Do you remember still the reason why you wanted to become actors in the first place? Do you, do you think about that? Well, I, I mean, I, I wanted to be an actor since I was 10, and then I stopped, and then I was 15, I started again, and I stopped when I was 17, and I started again when I was 18. And after that, I was always committed to it. I, I mean, why I want to be an actor when I was a kid is different than when you get into it and you really see what it's about. Uh, you know, you see people in movies, and you want to do what they do and stuff like that. And when you get in, it's a whole other world, and you can choose to go this way, that way, whatever way you want. And so... You know, it's different. Yeah. What about you? I never wanted to be an actor. I had maybe because my mother's an actress, my father's an actor. I had no desire to be an actor. Uh, I simply, I was in uh, my third year of college, and I had not declared a major. I, I was a hippie. It was 1965, and I thought theater would be easy because you know I've been around my mother's and all of that. So that's how I started very slowly very painfully, very shy, and very bad. And <laughs> so just, just progressively, just, just worked at it, you know, just kept working at it. So would you do, would you make the same choices again if you had the chance? Well, I knew I was gonna be this successful, I would, but you have to understand, uh, you, you have to love acting because, you know, 90% of, <clears throat> of actors are, are out of work. That's true, okay, I think I'm done. Thank you so much, <laughs> you guys. Hey! Let's go!